Hey guys, in this video I'm going to introduce to you the basic idea of how heating a conductor or heating a resistor could change its resistance. So in order for you to understand this idea properly, you'd have to study some pretty advanced chemistry and quantum mechanics, specifically something called band theory, if you'd like to look it up. But that's a little bit complicated, so we're just going to go with the more simple explanation. So if we have a look here, we've got a circuit, and so we can see that I've got a battery and I've got electrons moving from the negative terminal of the battery through a resistor here and then they come through the other side and come to the positive terminal of the battery. So on the left hand side here I've got a little, essentially it's an ammeter, it's something that's measuring the amount of charge going past that point per second, so the number of coulombs per second. Note in real life ammeters don't look like fans. And here we are showing you a basic model of the resistor. We can see that it's made up of lots of these green atoms. So these atoms would contain a positively charged nucleus surrounded by some core electrons, and the remaining electrons are free to move through material, so they're shown here in blue. Here only six green atoms are shown for simplicity, but in reality the resistor would be made up of billions of billions of atoms. Note, it doesn't actually have to be a resistor, it could be any conducting material. So, as the electrons move through the conductor, there's a chance that they'll collide with one of these atoms. And when they do, it's going to use up some of their potential energy in the collision, and so the solid will start to heat up, and that will mean that atoms start to move faster. So let's see what happens when I turn up the voltage. So there we go, now I've increased my batteries. So if I was to turn it up the voltage even more, we can now see the materials getting very hot. The atoms are moving around extremely fast, so they're colliding with all the electrons left, right and centre. So the resistance of the material is now very high. So the idea is that as the temperature of a conductor increases, its resistance is going to increase as well, because the atoms are vibrating around more and more likely to collide with the electrons.